Believe me, I'm not going to uh, count the number of pages, but should be reasonable. I probably mentioned five to ten pages, but uh, it can be more than that. So it should be formal proposal, okay? So it's not like the, just a scratch of your idea. So it should be a formal proposal, which means that you should have the title and cover page and title and your membership and uh, uh, if possible abstract, but abstract is not required. Instead, uh, you should have the uh, introduction part that describes the uh, summary of the, all your uh, project. So, introduction. The introduction can include why this project is important, what is the main uh, objective of this one, and also uh, why the Hadoop, what app Hadoop system and map reduce program are needed to address the, this problem. So you need to address the unit to uh, mention in your introduction, and also motivation of uh, this one. And second, so you need to mention about the uh, data set itself, okay? For the data set, so you spend a lot of time regarding to your data set, so how to collect the data set, some of them uh, you can directly download, and uh, it's already the uh, record by record, you can directly upload to the header, but some of them, uh, some of the data set need pre-processing, okay? So you need to mention details, where you can download the uh, uh, raw data set, and uh, what pre -pro uh, pre-processing are needed, what is the expected data size, and everything should be mentioned. Also, uh, because of the limitation of our virtual machine, so if so your data set is uh, uh, one petabyte size, but we are not going to use all of that. Instead, uh, we are going, you are going to select the specific the time period or the specific area. So any the assumption or restriction you need to mention. Then the, this is, uh, uh, the, we are going to use the 1% uh, of the data set that deal with the specific area for the, our the test or something like that. You need to mention all details and the uh, attribute and the data structure that you uh, have research on your data set so far it should be mentioned. That is uh, also, somebody would like to use the API to collect the data set, like, like the, for example, Twitter has a Twitter API, and uh, you implement a Python web query. So using the web query, you can collect the data. So such a, all details of the data set, so one of the most important part of the data set. And also, it is also a good idea if you can manage the web hard or the Google Docs, so you can upload it, then it's, uh, you can also give the link to download uh, uh, for public or the other students. Okay. And then, um, then the problem definition, which means the, you need to formalize the, your problem that you introduced today. Some of them are not introduced, but the, uh, you need to formalize. This is a requirement, the, at least the four. Okay? Four query, four problem. It should be detailed. Also, in terms of for each problem, in terms of the map reduce programming, you need to uh, the describe what is the, your problem, like the key value format, and what will be the intermediate, and uh, what is the uh, reduce function. Even though you do not provide the uh, skeleton program or the scratchy program, but uh, such a definition where the data structure should be provided for each query. Okay? So that is the requirement for your problem is it should be four. The at least the four. Hmm? But you don't have to think about the, the 100 query or whatever. So at least the four. Then during the implementation phase of four and five, each the student, each member will implement two of them. So the final result will be output will be four. So two versus two. Okay? So you need to, when you submit the phase 4 and 5, you need to specify who implemented this one, who implemented this one. Even though right now, it's a, you are proposing all this uh, full query, okay? but uh, when you implement, it will be split into two. Then, later after we cover the uh, high and peak, so 
there are two membership and uh, we'll implement the two query and one of them should be pure map reduce program another one can be implemented it's optional so you can use either hive or peak or map reduce program because map reduce at the hive some of the complete complicated the problem it's not easy to implement using the map reduce program so one is mandatory for the using MR. Another one is either MR or Hive or Peak. Okay, it's optional. So, but when you propose your query during the proposal, if you can research the Hive and Peak in advance, you can specify. However, it's not the mandatory, so you can just describe the, your problem detail, detail in terms of a map reduce program. Okay. And next thing is the if needed are the deliverable. So what will be the output of this one? So I specify the two at least the two things. One is the poster version, another one is the paper version. Okay. So in addition to that, if you guys want to uh, show the, for example, one of the students would like to use the geographical location, so it can be visualized. So even though in this class we are not going to you, uh, cover the visualization part, it will be discussed in the NoSQL database, another class, but you can use the visualization. Also, uh, I do not require for student to submit the 3D printer which is required in the other class, like the data mining class, but uh, you can use any types of the, such a uh, interesting output. But poster and the paper version are required. Then if needed, you can use such a uh, visualization. Also evaluation. Some of the uh, students would like to analyze data, like the sentimental analysis or some Mahal the or the some analysis analytic part. If you believe that your query uh, include uh, such analytics of the data, which means uh, you write you want to see how much accurate my query algorithm is. So you need to evaluate. So why don't you think about the evaluation plan if needed? That will be extra point definitely. Okay, then the conclude. So proposal is the most important part of your by come up with all your research so far and uh, formalize the problem and uh, make the plan of this. Then, if your pro proposal is uh, selected, then the, you need to work with your uh, the other member and divide your job. Okay, at least the one map reduce another the implementation. Then. I think the pretty much uh, that is the uh, thing you need to do in the next uh, two weeks. And if I'm not going to have a voting the, this time the, for page three, so I'm going to select the 10 of them, then I will present the uh, 10 topic which are selected. Yes. Uh, the uh, query for the map reduce mm. and query for the high will be the same because. Oh, not the same, different problem. You need to select one of them. So if you believe that you can do, uh, you can implement all of this using the map reduce, it's okay. But if you uh, want to use the uh, hive or peak, you can select one of them uh, using the hive or peak. Okay. But for the same problem, using the map reduce, using the hive, no, it should be different. Any question? Then implementation itself, it doesn't take a time. The problem is uh, the building your head up system and uh, sometimes pre-processing and collecting data, it will take a time. So once you can use the map with this program, the most of the problem are not very complicated. So it will be one or two set of the map videos will be uh, the fine for your problem. So also think about the more challenging or the interesting queries.
the Fourier, the map we just proved. Okay, any other question? Yes. Uh, I'm not very clear about the deliverable. Deliverable is uh, the, I think I mentioned in the uh, page uh, five or four or three. So one requirement is the uh, poster. Another one is the paper. Okay, this is the your deliverable. And also definitely source code. Okay, and the data set. If that is too big to submit it, then it can be you can upload to the Google Doc or the uh, Dropbox, whatever, whatever, and uh, give the link to share. Okay. So these are the deliverable, then the, you can specify the how you are going to uh, prepare such a deliverable. Then, uh, hopefully, either paper or poster will be used for the future uh, event uh, hosted by the UB, like the faculty research day or the ASC conference. So some of you guys already participated in that conference, so we will try that one. Those who uh, use the first of all the paper are selected, I cannot give the extra point after <laughs> the semester, but it's anyway, so good for you, your credential. Any other question? Okay, so then, today we are going to... Professor? Yes. Yeah, in the reviews you said that we have to just specify what we are going to do. Oh yes, the this is a proposal. We don't have to do the poster right now. After you complete your implementation and evaluation, was scheduled October 13, but uh, I decide to uh, switch the schedule with uh, next week. So we will have the lectures group and flow no SQL versus RGBMS on October 13. Then uh, next after that we will have the midterm exam, okay, in the classroom. So also distance learning student attend should attend the exam in the classroom because it's, it is required. On, the only exception is the online degree student can uh, take the online remote exam. So then, followed by the lack of the uh, Hadoop cluster. Okay. Any question regarding to the change in the schedule? Okay. So today, we are going to uh, see, discuss about the Hadoop administrative part, which is the planning with our Hadoop cluster and how to configure the Hadoop cluster system. Then, hopefully, we will have the, I probably do the shorter, uh, short uh, exercise lab regarding to the last part of the map we just program. Okay, so there are three ways of using the map reduce at the Hadoop cluster, okay? One is the, oops, it's not here, where is it? One is the local owner, local owner means we are not going to use the HDFS, instead we are using the local file system, but we can test the map reduce program, okay? So on, only uh, for the purpose of testing the map reduce programming, we can use the local learner. And another one is the single load, pseudo cluster. Pseudo cluster 
uh, has the all the daemon process okay functionality but we are going to use uh, only one node that where all master node, beta node, and the task tracker, job tracker, and naming node, and everything are in there. That's also uh, the training or testing purpose. So your virtual machine uh, for the developer virtual machine is the pseudo cluster. Then finally, we can build a real cluster that include master node and bunch of Data node. Today we are going to discuss about the how to uh, uh, configure and how to set up the such a cluster system. Then hopefully next week after we complete the, all the uh, administrative part, the we will uh, move to the 163. Then each student will take the one computer. Uh, the in Tech 163 uh, has the uh, 24 computers, so which means the uh, uh, three computer will form one cluster. So one of them will be used for the master node, and the including that the master node, the three computer will be used for the data node. You will set up the uh, head of cluster. Okay. To do that, I uh, will uh, the J the will remind you later also. Why don't you download the admin virtual machine on your the memory stick. Okay, if you download at the time for three computer, it will take a long time. So why don't you then download and copy, copy, copy to the machine? Then each student can bring one memory stick, then copy, then we can quickly start. So these are the example of the first thing is the, the sizing. So we need to think of the, the main thing you need to consider when you. Uh, plan of uh, planning of your planning your cluster system in terms of size. The main thing is times three always. So for example, if you uh, believe the one week we have the one terabyte of new data and the how long? So for example, a year. So we have the fifty terabyte times three because we are going to have the three copies of the same data. If you are going to set up the five copies of data, you need to times the five also, plus overhead. So overhead is usually the uh, one third of the data, so in over the 1.5 times. So 50 terabyte times three is a 150 terabyte, and times 1.5, then it will be around the 200, or 250 terabyte easily. So that is actually general rule. It's not only for this one. So most of the system, if they expect a year, yearly one petabyte, they usually have the 1.5 petabyte, the storage box. So you can imagine the how the big, the data size, the cluster size we are going to have. Then at the time, so if we believe the uh, each, so for example, suppose that we are uh, we planned a year, the 250 terabyte, the each machine may have the 10 terabyte, so you can have the 25 node, 12, five machine you need, okay? So it's a simple math, so after you decide, okay? As we discussed before, there are two types of node, one is a master node for naming node, the others are bunch of data node. So, so, the most important thing when you plan uh, to build, to set up the Hadoop system is memory is the most important part. To speed up anyway is true, the Hadoop system, uh, including HDFS, the MapReduce programming, to speed up, they are using a lot of memory. So they, especially for the naming node, naming node, most of data are reside on the memory. And also what about the data node? Data node, the, their they are based on Java virtual machine. Java virtual machine is nothing but the process. Process means it's a memory. They require huge size of memory. So when you uh, decide, the, when you need to decide which computer, which node are good for your the Hadoop cluster system, first thing is the bigger size of memory machine. Okay. Then you can add the hard disk drive, the bunch of hard disk drive. Not all the, so mostly the disk controller is less than the 15 
but the one important thing is the memory size. Okay. So this is the typical example of the slide node, the data node. So in this case, the four times of the two terabyte, each machine has the eight terabyte. Okay. So JDOD means that it's just a bunch of the discrete because it's a data node itself. Okay. We don't have to use the rate, okay? But except the mirror, okay? If that is a mirror, that will be better. It's a automatically copy. So, uh, but we don't need the typical the rate, the system. Why? Because it's already three copies of the data. So, rate is the technology to save <laughs> what? In case when hard disk drive is it was very, very expensive. So we cannot have the middle data. Instead, we'd like to strike the data set and also we'd like to keep the uh, reliability in case of one of them is failed, whether we can recover the data. So if we consider weight, it will be overhead of the system. So we don't have to worry about too much weight. Okay. Then, what core and where nowadays hexa core were the it will be better. So automatically the system will consider the multiple system. The RAM size, the memory size is uh, bigger is the better. Okay. And the Ethernet, the network speed is uh, right now the gigabit Ethernet is uh, very popular. Even 10 gig, the 10 gig Ethernet is uh, required. So suggested. Why? Because they are communicating each other through based on the HTTP, okay? It's an Ethernet based, it's a TCP IP protocol. So uh, gigabit Ethernet, 10 gig Ethernet is uh, preferred, okay? Theoretically, you can use uh, heterogeneous, the node, as long as they are uh, running the uh, required demon process, it's okay, but uh, uh, homogeneous the system are suggested in any types of okay. So you don't have to purchase a very expensive uh, computer or node. So like the, if you purchase the MPP machine massive the, uh, processor, parallel processor, it's so very, very expensive. Instead, you can purchase a, such a computer. I guess it's around the 3,000 or 4,000 which is uh, quite cheap uh, comparing to the other computer system in the IT department. So, for example, if you have the 100 node for the 3,000 bucks, 3,000 times 100 is how much? 30,000? 30, 300,000. 300, 300, 300 is uh, even the less than half a million. So, for the uh, one so e if each of them has a 10 terabyte, it's uh, easily um, bigger than the one petabyte. It's uh, not very expensive to the system. Okay. Right now, the quad core is uh, popular. So, mm -hmm. is it expensive hexa core still? I don't know. I never <laughs> used the hexa core. The CPU system, but hyper threading should be enabled. So most of the uh, current uh, the chip support the hyper threading, multiple hyper threading. So it will be fine. Okay. Slide node. When you select the data node, the most important part is the memory. Okay. Because it, oh, when you submit the map register, it it is considered as a job, and uh, this job will be assigned to the uh, data node where that the uh, the corresponding data block is uh, located. Then in that uh, node, the task tracker will be running. That task tracker will use Java virtual machine. So at that time, you can consider the uh, total number of task is the one times five the number of process core, which means so uh, if you have the uh, quad core is a full core and the dual machine, dual CPU, which means uh, the eight cores total. So eight times 1.5 is so 12, so you can run the 12 tasks at the same time. 
So usually, in the normal system, we recommend the number of process concurrent learning is the same as two or three times of the number of core. Which means if you have the quad core, dual process is eight core, eight times two. So 16 to 24 concurrently running process because of time sharing. So my uh, time sharing, so two or three times will be running the with the, with the maximum maximum the utilization. However, in the rule of sum in the uh, head up system is the 1.5, which means that 12 task running concurrently. So in your the company, in your IT department, uh, you are not the only one who are using the your system. There might be a bunch of the developers, so you need to think about the, what is the proper uh, number of tasks uh, considering the, your capacity of your system. Okay. Are this Hard disk drive, the, even though you have the very fast, the, like the 15,000 RPM, the hard disk drive, that is not a bottleneck of your system. So you don't have to uh, purchase the very, very high speed, high end the hard disk drive. Instead, you can purchase more hard disk drive. Okay? This is based on the empirical the, uh, testing. So 24 terabyte per the node. Okay. What if the year later, so do we need to replace the whole the system? No, you can just add the node. So thousand, two thousand, the practically the two thousand, there is no problem in the head of system. Even after the resource manager Yan, Yan 2.0 is released, then the, we have more and more, much more node, data node we can uh, the setup. The, before that, the old version of the without the yarn, actually there might be theoretically no limitation, but practically so 2000 will be the maximum number of the data node. Nowadays, no limitation, almost uh, unlimited number of the node you can have. Rate, we don't have to consider only the rate zero, which is the mirroring. Okay, mirroring is the uh, in the hard disk. Describe level, it will be copied. So even though one of them is failed automatically, the, the other will be used. So, however, you don't have to set the other RAID technology like the RAID 5 or RAID 1 striping. You don't have to do that it's because we have already three copies of the data according to the uh, head of architecture. Definitely, virtualization will not be helpful. Why? Physically, even though virtual. So we, in the machine, we have the three virtual machines. Does it mean so we can have the three times of the performance? No, physically it's one, the system, right? So even though we are running three data nodes, the, actually the, we cannot get the full benefit of the virtual machine. So there is no benefit of using the virtual machine. So we can use the one the operating system per node that will be the maximum. What about the Blade server? Blade server has been used a lot for the big system or the tra traditional the cluster or high performance computing. But in Hadoop system, this the Blade server is not recommended. The reason is that the Blade, even though each Blade is uh, uh, acting as one server, one node, but they are part of the computer system by the rack. What if the one rack is uh, the power down, then the, you will lose the, for example, 12, the node at the same time. So because of that, uh, the blade server is not recommended, but still you can use the blade server uh, to set up the head of system. Mm -hmm. As we discussed, the master node is a single uh, point of the failure, which means that it's very important. So because of that, we have the backup, the HA, high availability system of that naming node. The secondary naming node is not the backup system, it's the helper, helping the, the naming node. Okay, don't be confused by the name. So even though name is a secondary, that doesn't mean that it's a backup 
standby system. Instead, you can use the in the operating system level or at the system level, the HA, the configuration should be set up, which means the in case the, the naming node itself, node itself is down, it will be automatically the take, taken over to another system using HA, the high availability. Uh, it is the kind of product, so you need to produce the HA, the product, okay, then the they are synchronizing the periodically and uh, keep checking which one is uh, failed. Then, in case of failed, then take over the job. Then you need to consider uh, such a uh, configuration for the uh, master node. Dual power will be better, definitely, and dual Ethernet will be better. And uh, uh, at least the 32 gigabyte of the RAM because when you start up your head, head system, naming node actually bring all the data to the memory. Okay, so because of that, you need a bigger size of the memory. I heard that business school will make the big data lab, something like the big data analytics lab, in under the school of business. So they asked me to suggest the specific server or whatever, but my answer was at the time, just uh, consider the big or size, the uh, memory computer. Okay? I don't know why they try to have the, such a lab, but anyway, instead they can use AWS. It will be much cheaper and uh, no maintenance fee and the uh, student can test more and more. So I don't think that's a good idea. But anyway, they will have the big data analytics lab, something like that. So in terms of a network, the so 10 gig, the network, Ethernet network is a, what about the nowadays the switch? Is there any the 10 gig switch in the market? Anyone? We don't. For personal use, the gigabit Ethernet is okay, right? But the 10 gig is recommended because we are using TCP IP protocol for HTTP communication. Okay? But still, the 1 gig the in the lab, we, our, as far as I know, our network environment is a gigabit Ethernet, so you can still use the uh, computer in the lab to set up the Hadoop system. What about the operating system? So operating system, as long as in my sense, the, if you are using the Linux or Unix system, it's okay. However, Windows, a little bit, because I uh, had the trouble, I was uh, struggling to set up the Hadoop cluster uh, under Windows uh, at the time 7. So that makes sense, because even though the Hadoop uh, product are based on the uh, Java virtual machine, but still, they have been developed under Unix environment, Linux environment especially. So uh, it is recommended to use the 